it's great to see you again. Today we're going to be doing some printing. So our learning intention for today is we are learning to print from one surface to another. And the success criteria are, I know how to apply non-permanent text texture colors to a plastic surface. I know how to create a print and I know how to reapply color to add to my print. We're going to have a bit of fun just using text as it is going to be great. The equipment you will need today is a piece of paper, a freezer bag and some textures. Now if you don't have a freezer bag, a piece of plastic or something like that would be fine but it needs to be plastic. The first thing that you're going to need to do is to stick that piece of plastic down or that freezer bag down. A Ziploc bag is another good idea. So here's a sticky tape. I'm just going to stick it on each corner. I'm going to do that very quickly. You'll see that in just a moment. So make sure it's stuck down quite well so it's not going to move. So this is where the fun begins, you just need to get your texture, please make sure it's not a permanent marker, that's really important, and you can just start colouring, it doesn't matter what you colour, just cover that piece of, or piece of paper or plastic, you'll have a great time just doing this, there's no right or wrong, just enjoy it, you can see I'm just covering over any particular parts, I've even left some white parts there, which you know I don't normally do, so I'll just zoom through this really, really quickly. So I've just finished colouring this little section right here and now we're ready to do the print. So this is where you get your piece of paper and this is where the magic happens. So put it on top really carefully, try not to move your piece of paper once you've got it on there, press it down, rub your hand over it, you don't have to go super duper hard, just rub it over and then watch this when I lift this up. So we have actually printed a piece of paper with our texture colour. How fantastic is that? Now if you wipe it clean, you can actually put more on this. So I'm about to put another little drawing on here as well, just to add it to, to the top of my piece of paper. I've created my butterfly now, so I will get my piece of paper in just a moment and put that back over the top. Now again, you need to be really careful if you're doing this that you don't move that piece of paper. Press it down really lightly and then we'll have another print on that piece of paper again. Here it is. Now it didn't quite turn out as dark as what I wanted it to, but I've got a little bit of a solution for that. So perhaps as you will notice that I went over mine with texture just to make that butterfly stand out a little bit more. But it does come up really well just looking at all those different lines that I've made with the squiggles and the scribble over there. So it's an interesting way just to print. Now you could do a background like I did on mine or you could make up your own design and print it on there. So I can't wait to see what you come up with. Have a go and remember to upload it into the art folder when you're done. Have a great time and enjoy this activity.